good morning and good evening. Welcome back to Out of This Binary. This is Pow Pow. I'm Pow Pow. And today it's Thursday. And this past week we have been talking about romantic orientation. Yes. And I have a list, so I can keep my videos a little bit more concise. Um, so romantic orientation. Well, to talk about romantic orientation, we need to talk about the different types of attractions that people can have. And I found a really great video about this by a YouTuber that I really like. Um, I don't agree with everything that they say in their videos, but I thought this was a good video that they had called Romantic Orientations and Other Types of Attraction. And it's by Queer as Cat, uh, and their name is Vesper, and they talk about uh, sexual attraction, romantic attraction, sensual attraction, and aesthetic attraction. And I'll touch on those briefly. I'm not going to describe all of the different types of orientations that a person can have because I think that the video that I'm sharing with you um, discusses it more broadly and in more detail. Um, and also, um, I don't... Um, I don't use any labels or terms for myself. Um, these are just tools, these are just um, language tools or terminology that uh, people have come up with to um, better describe their um, relationships and their different types of attractions and orientations. Um, so, um, yeah, so check out that video. Um, for me personally, in my own personal life, I've had relationships with uh, men, um, women, and also um, some genderqueer, a uh, genderqueer person, and um, yeah, so I have had, uh, sorry, my leg is itching. Okay, let me take a drink. <laughs> okay, so I have had relationships with um, women before. They've only been romantic and they um, have been, um, well, I've had two girlfriends before and they were both in high school, so, um, where one was like in middle school and one was in high school and, um, ooh, um, I also want to say that like all of these things can be on a continuum. I was searching for that word forever. I recorded this video before because I couldn't think of the fucking word continuum. Um, and now I, I remembered it. But um, yeah, so things can change over time for you know people. Um, I've had romantic relationships with um, women before. Um, girls before when I was younger and they weren't sexual um, I was aesthetically attracted to them like the way they looked I liked the way they looked I thought they were cute um, but I didn't want to have sex with them um, I did like holding hands and that kind of thing um, I really like holding hands in general with people. It's like something that I just enjoy. Um, 
oh, let's see here. Um, I've also had sensual relationships with um, people that were not sexual. So I've had, um, or I actually have a friend, um, and he is a man, and um, we just like to cuddle when we watch anime and movies and TV shows. It's um, something that I like to do. I like to cuddle. Um, so there's that. And then aesthetically, I've had, like, aesthetically, I've thought that many people were attractive men, women. Um, I've had crushes that were um, that were with men, women, and um, other just other people. Um, and non-binary people, I suppose. Um, let's see. What else? Um, one of the reasons why I don't like to define my, um, um, one of the reasons that I don't like to define my um, romantic orientation is that it's kind of seems to change and um, it's, it's on a continuum and I don't, um, I just don't want to label it. I think labels can be very helpful for people, um, but um, just to have something that you can say like, oh, this is me, um, or it's helpful in like discriminating or deciding like what type of relationship you want to be in, you can say like, oh, well, I'm this and this is what I'm looking for, um, especially if you are someone who is um, asexual or aromantic, um, I think this language could be helpful for someone. But for me, I just don't really like it. Um, I feel it, find it really limiting because I, I want to have lots of, I want to have more relationships and I uh, enjoy having uh, unconventional types of relationships. Um, where I can have different types of in intimacy with people. And so I don't want to be put in a box that way. Um, so there's that. Um, I guess I don't really have anything more to say. I think that I've covered everything that I wanted to talk about. I do recommend you checking out that video by Queer as Cat. It's really good, um, or at least I thought it was. Um, make sure to check out everyone else's videos for this week. Um, I think that this week is a fluffy week, so it'll just be, you know, like a free week where we talk about whatever we want. I'm not sure. I have to check. <laughs> Um, but thank you for, um, watching this video. If you got to the end, um, feel free to put, a, um, put down your thoughts on this topic or um, talk about your own experiences in the comments. Um, I do read the comments and, um, I would love to know if there's anything else that you'd like us to talk about, if there's a topic specifically that you'd like us to talk about, or me sp specifically that you have any questions, if you have any questions for me, um, yeah, let me know. Um, uh, it's good to see you again, and I hope that you have a good weekend, and uh, just remember that whatever your orientation is, whatever your gender is, whatever types of attraction you have, they're valid, you're valid, um, it's okay. Um, 
and um, stay cool and um, that's all I got. So this is Pow Pow signing off. So take care. Bye. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs>